Hello, I am Panos Kotzathanasis, and uh, this is ASEAN Movie Pulse Interviews. Today I'm here with uh, Mr. Katsuhito Isi, whose retrospective is screening right now at Noisa Tel Film Festival, uh, while Michael is here to help with the translation. Hello, everyone. Hi. So, uh, first question uh, okay, there is this retrospective of his films right now in the Noisa Tel. And I wanted to know how does he feel seeing watching his films again after so many years, some of the other ones in particular. <laughs> he feels like, well, I made a lot of films. <laughs> <laughs> because every time he makes something, he forgets right away. <laughs> okay, okay. But does maybe he thinks that I should have shot this differently or I should have changed that now that he's watching them again? たとえばなんですけど、あの、もうちょっとここ、こういう風に撮ればよかったなとか、そういう風に感じ、あの、思われたりとかってしまう。あれ忘れてしまえば、一回なんとなく忘れると、もう話に入れるんです。こう、コロ
、一回止めましょうか、これ。あ,ありがとうございます。<笑> uh, so the, the first、uh, the his encounter with、uh, Mr. Tarantino was when his movie,、uh, Shark Skin Man,、uh, Peach Hit Girl, was、uh, shown in、uh, Hawaii Movie Festival, Film Festival, and Tarantino was there. And、uh, well, actually, for this movie,、uh, Mr. Ishii,、uh, because the budget was very limited, he had to draw by himself all the scenes of animation in this film. And Mr. Tarantino saw this work and he was,、uh, he was asking everybody、uh, who、uh, drew the scene of the anime in the、uh, Shark Skin Man. So that's how they, they met,、uh, met for the first time. And、uh, he, Tarantino told Mr. Ishii at that time in Hawaii that he might ask him、uh, to work with him in, in future.、Mm -hmm. And three years later, Tarantino came to Japan and he, was, he wanted to meet with the Japanese staff or the filmmaking staff. So, the story is that the story is that the story is that the s t o r キリビルの頭からお尻まで全部教えてくれたんですよ。自分身振り手振りで2時間くらいかけないから。<笑>それでここでアニメが入るみたいな。ここがお前の仕事だみたいな感じで。<笑>そんな感じ。Uh, and then so he met with Tarantino、uh, in Japan. And he was,、uh, Tarantino was explaining for like,、uh, like two hours by all by himself with all the gestures, the whole movie of Kill Bill from the beginning to the end. And when it came to the animation part, he said, That's your job, you're going to do this work. <laughs> But, uh, I was like, 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 So he received the script and、uh, so he had some image、uh, in his head, so he started to draw animation. Part and he sent it to Tarantino and uh, uh, proposing that he would correct if there's anything to change. And Tarantino just said,、oh, No, we're going to use it like, as it is.、Mm -hmm. So that's how. Okay.、Goes. All right. And、um, was it very different working for a Tarantino production than in a Japanese production, let's say? Uh, sorry, uh, working with Tarantino and.、Uh, uh, working in Japan, let's say, in a Japanese production, in、uh, comparing、yeah. to an American Hollywood production. Ah, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 sorry. こうやって始めたらいいんじゃないかみたいな感じ。絵コンテ全部書かなかったですよ。うん、最初の、えー、と出だしの本当に20秒ぐらいかな。そのぐらい絵コンテ書いたら全部採用してましたね。そ,のそこは<笑>あ。これはそのアニメパートだけじゃなくて。アニメパートだけですね。アニメパートの最初の20秒。はいはいはい、だからすごい,い,いです。やっぱ説明がうまいのと、脚,脚本がやっぱすごい分かりやすいから。要はだからその。僕を素材に使ってくれたっていう感じです,すごい、yeah. すごいやりやすかったです、ね。Uh, working with Tarantino was quite,、uh, it was very smooth because his explanation is very uh, uh, clear and also the script is very、uh, easy to understand. Well, it's very well structured. So it was easy for him to do the design of the character. So after having read the script of Kill Bill 1, he、uh, drew the, the first 20 seconds of script storyboard and、uh, it was right away approved by Tarantino.、Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And、uh, he has、uh, repeatedly collaborated with、uh, Tadanobu Asano. Can he tell us a bit about his collaboration, how he works with him, let's say? えっと、アサムタラノブさんと、はい、あの何回か一緒にお仕事されてますけれども、はいあのまあ、ご一緒にそのお仕事されてることですけど、まあ、ちょっとお聞きしたいです。どういう、どういう。ハム君はめちゃめちゃ芝居がうまいっていう。He's a very, very good actor. うん、そこが僕はすごいあの好きで、うん、まあ、アドリブがめちゃくちゃうまいんですよ。だから、け僕の映画では、素人を絡ませてるんですよ。素人と絡んだら、うん、本当にうまいのかなみたいな感じ。<笑>毎回チャレンジさせてくれるっていう。<笑> uh, well, uh, what he likes about、uh, Asano Tarano is that he's a really good,、uh, his performance is amazing, and he's、uh, great in inter,、uh, improvising. So every time he does, like,、uh, he makes a challenge for Asano by、uh, making him actually.、Uh, 
perform the role with the, the amateur actors. For example, he, he's using his friend, who is not an actor, <laughs> to, to act in a movie in the same scene as Asano, so the, to kind of test the skill of Asano. <laughs> but <laughs> even, even <laughs> like that, he, Asano, he, he plays so well and he makes it really, really realistic. <laughs> so it's really interesting to see him work this way, that's why he he、collaborates。で、パーソナルコンが芝居をやってると、そのビジコンの前に若い役者がこうやってきて、すごい見てるんですよ。うまいなって言いながら見てるのよくわかりますよ、その気持ち。And he understands well also the feeling of the other young younger actors because wherever Asano is on the scene, everybody they come to check the monitor and see him act because everybody knows that how he great how how great he is. <laughs> So, so in general, in his uh, collaboration with his actors, he allows a lot of improvisation. So, but I want, uh, how does this thing work, though? Because he doesn't know what the actors will do. So how does this work in the movie? Maybe sometimes there are surprises that are not pleasant, let's say. <laughs> つまりアドリブをまあすごいあのややってもいいという uh, so uh, in his case, in his shooting, he uh, generally he he tells the actors that, uh, for example, from here to here, we have to shoot it uh, without improvisation. Improvisation. Uh -huh. But uh, once you reach here, you can start improvising. So that's mm -hmm. how he shoots a scene. And uh, so in the worst case scenario, he can just use the part that's fixed without improvisation. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the part that where the actor is improvised is even better or more interesting than the first <laughs> part. So he sometimes he uses only the improvised part. Okay. And in general, do actors enjoy this approach or they get frustrated sometimes? Everybody's enjoying, they seem to be enjoying. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, I have another question about another actor. It's uh, Tatsuya Gashuin, who played in Taste of Tea and Sarskin Man, but. Uh, I don't know anything about him. I have seen him in a number of movies, but I don't know anything about him. No one ever talks about him. So maybe the director can tell us a few things about him. I think you can look for him by the name Wakato Akira. Wakato Akira, ah, okay. From the shark, uh, shark skin man, he changed his name to Gashuin. Ah, okay. この前に、えっと、合衆院さんが、えっと、自殺したんじゃないかみたいな事件があったんですよ。海で溺れて出てきたみたいな。はい。まあ、生きてたんですけど、出てるんですけど、それで意外とその、一回こう消えたというか、それ
怖すぎるでしょって話になって、確かにって思って、サネハダで、あれ原作にいないキャラなんです。貸したんですよ、原作。オリジナリー、ガシュウィン・タツヤ、ヒーズ、ヒーズ、コメディアン、ヒーズ、イミテーション・オブ・アダーズ。ヒーズ、ネバー、ンビジネス、フォー、リリー・ロンタ。And before,、uh, when, when, when he was、uh, going to shoot the movie、uh, Shark Skin Man, he was talking with Mr. Mickey、uh, about the, uh, uh, to decide which actor、uh, could be the most sca- the scariest person to play the role of the, the murderer, the,、uh, in the assassin in、mm. that film. And、uh, Mr. Mickey proposed that、uh, Mr. Gashuin,、uh, well, at that time his name was Wakato Akira.、Mm-hmm. Uh, would be the scariest person because、uh, imagine if、uh, somebody like him comes to kill you, well, isn't it super scary? So that's、mm-hmm. how they took him. And this character was not included in the, the manga in the original story. Is it okay for him to continue? Please, please. Yeah. I'm going to ask you about how to do it. I'm going to ask you about how to do it. 最初にサメハダの,あの車乗っててなんかこうアマチュア無線でいろんな人にそのサメハダのありかをこう聞くところなんですけど、うん、一回。ああ、ありがとうございます。そう、there is a scene where he's in the car and talking with the, the radio to ask、uh, everybody the whereabouts of the, the shark skin man.、Mm-hmm. で最初はやっぱりその長いこと芸能界にいるからできるよみたいな感じくんだけど、いや、いざやるときに、ちょっとって言われて、そのロケバスの裏に言われて、うん、どうしたらいいか教えてくれる、うん、<笑>いいよ聞いてくれるよ、したのにないじゃないですか。<笑>それすごい面白いなと思って、うん、僕がその、まあ、あの、全部やってくれって言われたんです。真似するからって。マネーボックスクリアかなみたいな感じで,でやったんですよ。はい、ら CQ、CQ とかで、ね、その<笑>やってほしい芝居。そのままやってくれたんですよ。Uh, and it's an interesting story because、uh, well, he's a professional, he's been in the entertaining business for super long time, but he didn't know how to act、uh, for the, to do this scene where he has to talk on the radio. And he even asked the, the director, Mr. Ishii, something like,、uh, what? What kind of tone should I use for the, this, the voice?、Mm-hmm. So he asked Mr. Ishii to do exactly the, <laughs> the performance that he would like、uh, Gashuin san to do. So Ishii had to do the, 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 the voice. <laughs> And then the, in the end, Gashuin san he did exactly the same as him. So it was good. So Gashuin san did the same as him. So it was good. So Gashuin san did the same as him. So it was good. Each time he had to, Gashuin san had to do a scene, Ishi san and Gashuin san had to, to go in the back and talk with, between themselves to do, rehearse the scene.、Mm-hmm. He had to show him how to act.、Mm-hmm. So he cannot act <laughs> if Gashuin san is unable to do an improvisation. <laughs> he, he, at that time, the, the, the shooting of the shark skin man, he was unable to do a, He was not capable of doing the improvisation. Mm-hmm. So,、uh, I want to ask、uh, another about him again, about、uh, the Tsuya san. So,、uh, there is one scene in、uh, Shark Skin Man where、uh, the Tsuya's character gets beaten by Tadanobu Asano's character. And then、uh, he says to Tadanobu Asano, I love you, which is a very strange <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> and then there is another scene in Taste of Tea with, where.、Uh, His granddaughter is looking at him and he's behind the window. And every time the granddaughter looks at the window, he closes the window. I don't know if he remembers the scene. And I wanted to ask if those two scenes were whose idea were there because they are very weird but very funny at the same time. ただの、あそこさんに、あの、殴られて、あいつっていう、そうですね。っていうシーンと、あと、茶の味で、あの、えっと、お孫さんの女の子が、あの、そう、縁側に座ってって、で、そうそうそう、窓閉める。で、あの二つのシーンが、本当に、ちょっとへ、あの、不思議というか、なんです、いい意味で変で、で、かつ、すごく面白い。で、このアイディアは、どこから来たんですかそれは、まあ、一応全部、その、僕、映画作る前はストーリーボードを書くんで、一回、投資で頭には入ってるんですよ。うん、で、あの、その、好きっていうシーンは
、えー、っと撮影で最後だったんですよ。うん、で最後だったんで、もうガシンさんだいぶ慣れてきてると。うん、で結構俺いい仕事したぞみたいな。うん、<笑>最後、浅野君と2人で落ち着いてできるぞみたいな。<笑>ここで初めてアドリブでしていいですよって話を出したんです。はい、あれが出たんですよ。<笑> Uh, so,、uh, normally, when、uh, Mr. Ishid、uh, shoots a movie, the whole thing is in his head because usually he、uh, draws, a, draws a storyboard in advance.、Uh, and as for the scene of,、uh, where, where Gashu i n s a n says, I love you to Asano san, well, actually, it was an improvisation, the only and first improvisation that he did during the shooting of the shark skin man because it was the last scene to shoot and he was getting really used to the shooting.、Mm -hmm. so, She told Gashu i n s a n that he could he could do an improvisation because now he's relaxed, he's okay. So, that I love you is actually he's improvising. <laughs> okay, right, right. Okay, and uh, then uh, the, the animation in the taste of tea, that part of animation, it's also, I feel that the art form is very similar to a red line movie. The art form is very similar. And I wanted to maybe to discuss a bit about this style of animation because there is also another anime called、uh, Kill la Kill, which also features this type of animation by Studio Trigger. So maybe he can tell us a bit about this type of animation.、Uh, sorry, the name of the title of the last animation you mentioned, what is it called?、Uh, kill, K I L L, Kill la Kill. Kill la Kill. Yes. From Studio Trigger. It's the same style of animation, and I just wanted to see if there is any similarities or how it works. そそれで結構おもろいじゃんってことになって、うん、多分キルラキルが生まれたんですかわかんないですけど。He never saw Kill la Kill. Ah, okay. Some of the staff that worked for Kill la Kill you,、uh, was working for Red Line. Ah, so, okay. Okay.、So、okay. Maybe from there the idea was born and they, they made the Kill la Kill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And、uh, can he tell us a bit about、uh, Norioka Workshop, the last movie of his that I saw? It's, it's very different than his past movies, like the ones we just discussed. So, can he tell us a bit about this change in the film in general?、Uh, Norioka Workshop is a very different film from the past movie that I saw. It's a very different film from the past movie that I saw. It's a very different film from the past movie that I saw. It's a very different film from the past movie that I saw. It's a very different film from the past movie that I saw. It's a very different film from the past movie that I saw. It's a very different film from the past movie that I saw. 作れますよみたいな<笑>。<笑>まあまあ自分で撮影すればいいでしょみたいな。で、ちょうどあれは依頼してきたのは不動産会社のえっと会社からで、その不動産会社が持ってる家を使っていいから、なんか作ってくれみたいな、そういう感じだったんですよね。なんかそっちの面白そうだし、別に向こうからこういうの作ってくれるっていうのもないから、好きにやっていいと言われたから、あれ受けたんですよね。なんかまあ、全然良さがないから、トーンが違うように見えるけど。多分チャート作ればあの似たようなものになった今までの証言が近いものだったんじゃないかなって気がする。He thinks maybe the reason why you find it、uh, a little bit different from his previous work is、uh, one of the reasons might be、uh, the fact that it was really, really low budgeted.、Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the quality of the image is not,、uh, not as good as the, the previous movies, and maybe if they had enough budget to make、uh, the、uh, A, proper, a better quality image, maybe it could have been, uh, uh, it could have looked、uh, in the same way as his previous movie film. But to explain a little bit of details for this movie, is that it was a comp completely independent film. And、uh, he actually shot himself because there was no budget.、Mm -hmm. And it's actually a real estate company who made this house where they shot.、Oh. And they him <laughs> to make a movie using this house. But、uh, they didn't interfere in the story, so he had the whole liberty to make the, the movie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and the, the film deals a lot with the concept of what is acting and what is reality.、Mm -hmm. Can he tell us a bit about this concept? What does he think about? 
、演技と現実っていうことのコンセプトについてすごく書かれてますけど、はいはい、そこのことにそ,その点についてと<笑>詳しく<笑>。そんなに詳しく言えないんですけれど、本当にあれは本当思いつきで書いてるんですよね。うん、なんか朝あれに出て、まあ、森岡ワークショップの、えー、っと、こは森岡くんって言って、うん、茶の味で、えー、っと、初めて出たんですよ。15歳かな、うん、初めて出て。で、今、監督も彼やってて、うん。で、一緒に出てくる女の子二人は、CM でなんか出てくれた子で、うん、で、なんかお芝居したいみたいなこと言ってたんで、うん、なんかじゃあ機会があればなんかやってあげたいな、みたいな感じで思ってた時にその話が来たんで、うん、で、森岡知り合いだし、お前,お前主人公でなんか作りたいけどいいって言ったら、うん、あ、いいっすよ、みたいな感じで軽くやってくれたんで、<笑>なんかちょっと試してみたかったことが試せたっていう感じですかね。わ、うんうんうん、かりました。Uh, well, there's not really、uh, so many, so much that I can tell、uh, about this、uh, the concept because the idea was like、uh, it just came popped into his, his mind. And、uh, well, actually, the leading actor,、uh, Morioka, he、mm -hmm. was 15 years old and he was actually in、uh, Fist of Tea at、uh -huh. the age of 15.、Oh, okay. and now, the, and now he's a director himself. And he proposed,、uh, Mr. Ishii proposed、uh, Mr. Morioka, the leading actor,、uh, saying that、uh, I want to make a movie with you as a leading role. Is it okay? And he said yes. And、uh, also, the two girls that are in the Morioka workshop, they,、uh, they also were uh, once, uh, they have、uh, acted, well, they have appeared in、uh, publicity that he made. Before, so and they, they wanted to try acting, so he talked to them and they said yes. So he kind of wanted to try something new in this movie. Mm -hmm. And、um, uh, what is your opinion, his opinion of the Japanese movie industry at the moment? It's very <laughs> だから映画作ってないから、その映画界のこともよくわかんないけど、なんかでも、うん、やっぱテレビの,そのスタッフ使いすぎじゃないかなって気がしてて、やっぱりその、国内とかではわかんないけど、その映画サイトに出すと、やっぱりそのテレビのスタッフだよねってバレてるんですよね、それが。まあ、なんかそれがちょっともったいないというか、もっとなんか昔単館で活躍した監督いっぱいたいるから、そういう人たちになんかチャンスをあげればいいと思うんだけど、やっぱり日本の場合、ネットフリックスとアマゾンプランと組んでるのは、やっぱりテレビの人たちなんですよね。やっぱそこから普通の人には仕事出してくれないというか、僕らみたいな、単関係の監督には出してくれないって。まあ、それがちょっと、もうちょっとこう幅広くみんながっきるような環境になったら、もうちょっとよくなるんだよね。うん<笑> So it's hard to answer this question, but uh, he, uh, because uh, he hasn't、um, made a lot of films recently, and so he doesn't know much about the recent、uh, Japanese cinema industry. But、uh, in general,、uh, well, he, what he can say is that he feels like they use too much, they,、uh, they, they depend too much on the, the, the staff、uh, that works on the TV, actually.、Mm -hmm. For example,、uh, in Japan, Netflix and Amazon, they use only the, the people who work in the TV industry. So,、uh, he, maybe to show these movies only in Japan, they probably wouldn't notice, the spectator or people wouldn't notice. But he feels like once it's abroad in a movie festival, for example, he feels like the people can actually feel that、uh, they are using the, only the people working in the TV industry.、Mm -hmm. And he finds it a bit,、uh, well, it's a bit disappointing because、uh, there are so many good、uh, directors who used to make really good movies, like independent films、uh, that could, that was only shown in like one cinema, not,、uh, not, in, uh, not in like a big cinema everywhere. So、uh, he feels like if、uh, the Japanese cinema industry could give a chance to this director, like including himself, Nobody、uh, gives an offer to him, for example. So he feels like if these directors could actually work in the, the present cinema industry in Japan, the, it would be more of a、uh, very,、uh, the wide the, the genre and the, the style of the movies could be more. more、uh, variety. Does he think that、uh, right now he, he couldn't shoot movies like Taste of Tea and Shark's King Man? Couldn't, could he shoot them now or not, considering what he just mentioned about the Japanese movie industry? Well, 
今の,の、うん、お話を、まあ、受けまして、うん、その今の日本で、うん、茶の味ですとか、うん、サメハダオのような映画って撮れるって、うんうん、撮れないです。インポッシブ、アブソリューリーノット。うん、うん。もう全然入ってきちゃって。Because、潰される。Because、だから僕、最、う、初、ん、映画最後スマグラ撮ったんですけど、うんうんうん、スマグラもひどかったですね。ガンガン言われて。<笑><笑>あれテレビが出してるから。だから相当、アイデアを削った、あれは。ああ、そうなんですね。わ、うん、かりました。そこからも商業映画ちょっと、テレビの人たちどうなのみたいな。それから映画あんまくつけない。ああ、もう、ひ、ああ、the reason why is that、uh, there will be too many people that would give、uh, opinions and、uh, <笑> not keep maintain his ideas. For example, when he showed the,、uh, the movie Smuggler,、yes. uh, it was a、uh, The, the smuggler, the, the, the movie. Yes, yes, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so the,、uh, that was relay. It was financed by TV,、uh, TV company. So、uh, they gave him、uh, so many challenges, so many opinions, and he had to remove so many ideas. So since then, he stopped working、uh, for. Yeah, so so by uh, uh, for the shoot,、uh, for the making of Smuggler, the, he, he, he had to remove so many ideas of his own because of the, 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 the TV company people and financing、uh, telling him to do this and do that. So since then, he stopped working for commercial movies like this. Okay, okay. And the last question, I guess, can he tell us a bit any future projects? Are he is he working on anything else? えっと、これ多分最後の質問になると思うんですけど、はい、あの今後のプロジェクトを何かあれですか今後は、今は、の、ルパン三世のある指定の,そのアニメ、小池さんとずっと作ってて、えっと、そのシリーズがそろそろ終わるかなっていうのと、うん、その先で、えっと、なんかアニメのシリーズ作ってくれって言われて、打ち合わせはしてますけど、うん、や,やるかどうかはわからないっていう、うん。僕は個人的に自主映画作りたいなとまた思ってて、はいあのまあちょっと書き溜めてるって感じですかね。そう、right now he has a project with、uh, Mr. Koike.、Uh, they're working together on the series of animation of Lupin the Third.、Uh -huh. And it's、uh, actually the restri restri restricted to uh, uh, in terms of age、uh -huh. for, for the viewers. And afterwards,、uh, there is also an offer to make an animation series, but he's not sure if he's going to do it. And at the same time, he wants to make a film, independent film. So he's,、uh, he's been working on it. Ah, to Kanko no production to, like, sci fi, ega, sci fi drama no, like, eh, to each scenario in Mitai, to the car, my, 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 m Him, uh, to make a sci fi series. So he sent them the scenarios that he's been working on, and but he feels like maybe they're not going to do this project. <laughs> he's, <Okay> . not, <laughs> he's not sure if it will happen. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry for asking too many questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Okay.